Hey guys, welcome to Tinotech Hacks. If it's today is your first time, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, and don't forget to put a comment. Today I'm going to teach you how to set the page margins and the page layout of your page. After that, I will also teach you how to add page numbers. So we're going to learn three things, page margin, page layout, and then page numbers in Microsoft Word. All right, so quickly, this is my Microsoft Word document. I have a document here. Now, sometimes the size of the margin of the page that you select is going to determine how the text you have typed are going to look like. All right, so let's go to layout. And then let's look at margins. Now at margins, we have last custom settings. We have normal settings. We have narrow settings. We have moderate, wide, mirrored, and office 2003 default. So now let's look at each of them and see how they are going to look like. For the last custom, we have 0 0.5 top, 0 0.5 left, 0 0.5 bottom, and 0 0.5 right. That means the top of the document here, the left of the document here, this is top, this is left, uh, the left side, and this is the right side, and then this is the bottom side. All of them have a specific margin, all right? So when you look at it here, you see that we have 555. Five, five. So when I click on it, you can see that the size or the margin, the gap between the text and the line here is very faint. Same thing compares here. And let's look at the top, the earliest document. And this one is also the same. And coming down to the last side, it's also the same. So I want to change it from the last and then I'll come to normal. So this is normal. For normal, we have one, 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 one inch equal. You can see that the sizes here are bigger. Look at the top. This is the top of the document. This is the left side and this is the right side. Let's go back there and see. Narrow. When I choose narrow, the narrow makes it like the last custom margin. So the narrow we have there is 0 0.5 top, 0 0.5 left, 0 0.5 bottom, 0 0.5 right. Moderate. This is moderate. The moderate we have there opens the gap a little bit as compared to the narrow. Yeah. Then we also have the wide. The wide increases the gap so much, you can see from here. The gap is too much. It makes the text very small. Okay. Then we also have the wide. Okay, did I just talk about the wide? Okay. We also have the mirrored. When you choose the mirrored, the text slides that way to the left side, as you can see there. Okay, apart from the mirror, the original default, that is 2003, is what we have there. So depending on the type of text you want to choose. Mostly, I like choosing the narrow because it gives me a lot of space so that a lot of text can go on one document or one page, as you can see from there. All right, when we go there, we can also see the orientation. We have the portrait and then we have the landscape. Now, this particular document we are dealing with is in portrait. If you want it to be in a landscape, you choose landscape and you see that it will be more wider as compared to the rest that we have. So when you look from here to here, you can see that it's very wide. That's it. But since the document should be in portrait, most documents are in portrait. So we choose the portrait. We can also talk about the size of the paper. On the size of the paper, we have letter, we have tabloid, we have legal, we have statement, we have executive, A3, A4, A5, B4. We have many others. 
You can even custom set it yourself. You get my point. Even the margin, you can custom set it yourself. And the layout too, you can do that. So we have all other styles there. Actually, you can even put your text in columns. When you see columns here, we have one column. This particular document we've created is in one column. If we choose two columns, you're gonna see that the document is going to separate into two different columns. You can see from there. So everything. If you choose more than two, you choose three, it's gonna separate into three different columns. You can see that. Yes, so that is it. Depending on the type of document you are creating. Left, that means one small and then one big. Depending on what you wanna do. So what I'm choosing, I choose what I want. You can equally do that yourself. We are done with the pages sizes. The margin, you can do the custom margin yourself. When you come here, I can decide to say, okay, uh, zero point, okay, let me say 1.1, that is the top, the down, 1.1, 1 1.1, 1. 1. 1, the bottom, and then 1.1, the left. We can also create a gutter. I will show you the gutter. Now, when I click, okay, this is what I get because this is a custom margin that I have set for myself. If we go there, we can equally set the gutter. The gutter is the first gap that you create for the paper. The left, the top, wherever you want it to be. That depends on you. So the gutter is when you want to clip the paper after you are done printing maybe you printed multiple copies and you want to staple them together if you are going to staple the paper from the top side you have to select the gutter to be top if you are going to clip the paper from the left side you have to choose left so when you see here you're going to see margins and then you see when i choose top it means there is going to be an extra space here where the paper is going to be clipped you see my point and then when i choose the left there's going to be an extra space here because that is where the paper is going to be clicked now with the gutter i can give more space maybe 0 0.5 extra and then i will choose left when i click ok you're gonna see that extra space has been created for here that is how it works all right i want to add the page number before we leave so to add a page number you go to insert when you click on insert, you can come here, you're gonna see header, footer, and then page number. Now, when you click on page number, there will be multiple options for you. Either to choose the top of the paper, to choose the bottom of the paper, the pa page margin, um, anywhere you want it to be. So I'm gonna choose the bottom of the paper. Now, when you choose, we have simple, play number, play number two, play number three, Play number four, mostly in most books, we choose play number two. So when you look at here, that is where the page numbers of the paper is going to be. So you will see that at the bottom of the paper, there is a footer that has been created. And this is the page number that has been created. If I had chosen the top, let's go there and see. If I had chosen the top, so I'll click on insert and then I'll come to page number and then I will choose top. When I choose top, the page number will come to the top of the paper instead of the down side where we chose before. You see, this footer, the page number should have been here we, if I had chosen the down. But because I chose the top, it came to the top of the next page. So this is page two, page three, page four, till the last page of the paper where you will have page 44. So I'm going to change it and then choose the down and then we see how it's going to look like. I click insert, I go to page and I go to play number two. So now the page has been set in the footer instead of the header. After you are done, you just double click on any part of the page and then it has been created. One, two, three, till the last page. 44 and then you can see that your page has been created if you want to delete it you just double click on it you click backspace and then everything is going to be cleared so when you go there you never see any pages anymore
It is so easy and simple. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. See you another time. Bye-bye. Be the same, I'll rise up and shine. Yeah. themselves to it. Alright, great to strength.